Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Breakdance's client mode to allow your client to edit the content, but not break your design. So for this example, I have my account, the admin account uh, on this website. I also have another account called the client, and we're going to make it so the client can only edit content, not the design. And here's the page that we're going to let the client edit the content of. And right now, as you can see, we could edit the design. We could drag things all over. We could reorder the elements. We could add the spacing. We, we could badly mess things up uh, if we didn't know what we were doing. So we don't want to let the client edit that. We just want the client to be able to come into Breakdance and edit the text uh, and that kind of thing, but not actually reorder elements or add new elements to the page or delete elements from the page or anything like that. Okay, how can we do that? Well, we're going to use Breakdance's User Access Manager. So we'll go to Breakdance, Settings, and then go to User Access. And by default, administrators have full access to all of Breakdance, and everyone else has no access to any part of Breakdance. But what we want to do is make the client an editor and then give them edit content access. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for the editor user role, the editor user role have edit content access. Let's go ahead and save these changes. And now we're going to make the client an editor instead of an administrator. So let's go over to users. Let's find the client. Let's click edit. And under user role, instead of administrator, we're going to make them an editor. Now let's go ahead and save this. Update user. And now let's log into the WordPress admin panel as the client. Go to breakdance.local slash WP admin, and let's log in as the client. Here we are inside the WordPress admin panel. We've logged in as the client. Let's go over to pages and let's open up this don't break my design page in Breakdance. And here we are inside Breakdance in edit content mode. As you can see, the usual design controls aren't there. We only have the content control. So the client can come in here and put in uh, their own custom content. But if they try to reorder anything, they can't do it. If they try to delete anything, they can't do it. They can only come in here and put in their own content. That all can be done. But deleting an element, can't do it. Updating the section background image, yep, they can do it. But they can't do anything bad. They could open up the structure panel, but they, they can't reorder. They can't delete. They can't do anything bad. They can just edit the content. When they're done, they'll click Save, and those changes will take effect. Okay, that is how to set up client mode. If you'd like to test out client mode for yourself without creating a user account for demonstration purposes, then what you can do is from Breakdance Settings, you can go to User Access, and you can check the box Impersonate a User with Edit Content Access. And once you hit Save Changes there, the next time you open up Breakdance, you'll experience it just like this in Edit Content Mode. But once you leave and come back again, you'll be back to being an administrator again. That way you can try the edit content mode without actually having to go through the whole shenanigans of creating a separate user account. Okay, this is Lewis from Breakdance. That is how to use the user access feature of Breakdance to protect your designs from your clients. Thank you very much for watching.